This video is about the new Microsoft Teams Teams and it has some uh, details. But first, like and subscribe to my uh, channel and uh, share this video. Um, yes, uh, there's a new Teams client and this is for Mac and Windows. Other, uh, other uh, operating systems will follow, I guess. But this is new for the, for the main devices, to say so. And uh, I want to show you a few couple of uh, things that are new and really um, way better but i also want to show you uh, things that could be better um, and in this video we are just going to show you a small overview of the new teams because maybe it's not rolled out to your organization uh, but maybe you are the uh, engineer who is controlling it and it's good to be aware of some of the things be aware this video is recorded in uh, half October so some of the items may already be fixed uh, when you watch this video um, let's get into teams first of all when you go to teams it has a different look and different look and feel it's way faster and it does uh, take less uh, memory uh, which is a big uh, win for teams because the old or the classic client which we call it now uh, uh, had a lot of slack in your memory and uh, it was re really slow so one of the things that I want to show you here is uh, first of all you are got your tenant switcher directly here if you are a um, member of multiple tenants uh, you can select a tenant and as you can see it's really fast you directly come into this tenant uh, I still it's a new tenant so, or new client so gives me some pop-ups uh, but what you can do is uh, you can say okay I appear offline in this tenant and that's a big win because if I go back to KB Works demos you will see that uh, here I'm offline and this is a big win for uh, people who work at multiple organizations so that's one of the things I want to show you and point out. Next to that, we still have, of course, a lot of uh, features that are around. If you have activity in different tenants, it will uh, show you directly here uh, that there is activity. And you can, if you click in here, it will directly switch to that tenant. So that's really nice. Now we go to the settings menu and this is a slightly, well, slight, it's a big change. Uh, so you really have to search uh, for some new menu items. I'm going to do, go through them very quickly. I'm not going to do the detail because um, you have to find out yourself and the video would be way too long. It would be more like a course or a masterclass. So just to show you, uh, in the general, we can uh, select uh, some uh, some items to how, how it should be starting up. And uh, in the accounts organizations, you can uh, select your tenants that you want to see and don't want to see. So I could say, okay, I don't want to see uh, the um, Contoso tenant. And if you click on manage, you can even leave organizations which you are no longer part of. Uh, then we have a privacy uh, where we have a read recipients, um, some extra things in here. Please go through them. Notifications. So there's a difference because the notifications are now within windows directly so you have to have the notifications on in windows and the same goes for mac so if you are on the mac your notifications uh, should not be silenced uh, you can adjust them in the mac so i know that uh, because i also work on a mac um, but it's something to be aware of uh, because sometimes you think oh i don't get any notifications anymore that's why um, uh, i used to have all notifications off uh, you can set uh, a big win is you can turn off start and meeting start notifications uh, i don't use it but still i think it's a good win then we got uh, appearance and accessibility 
uh, where you can select uh, your um, um, your way of viewing but here you can also select the language and you can select the uh, translation of the language um, so this is really something that was used to be in the general menu and is now in the appearance and accessibility further we've got uh, files where you save your files on um, the open preference uh, calls uh, captions if you want them on by default your devices so here you have uh, some settings you can do uh, recognition uh, it's not available yet I don't know uh, so that's mainly about the menu the general menu I'm not going to go into detail of every menu but then we have got on the left side and I've got some extra apps but normally you have activity chat teams uh, calendar calls and files but as you may notice there's a new uh, item here and I added it from the admin center so it could be that it's not there for you and why I want to point out this and this is actually the main topic of the video uh, so why I want to point out to this uh, in the classic teams you had your chat and here you had a switch to go to your contacts but as you can see there is no longer a switch still you can pin but it's it's not what uh, some people want and I know a few people really like the contacts so they created a new app called people which is actually your whole contact list so you can add new people and as you can see it's a demo account so there are not a lot of people but if i look in my uh, my work account it's a big 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 list so that's fine so first i'm going to do the positive things and then the things that i need think need change or should be changed or maybe changed along the way and you know, when you watch this video you say oh it's already there but uh, let's go first um, these are all my contacts you can favorite them so they come directly on your favorite uh, thing and you can categorize them this is a big functionality uh, missed in the old classic contacts uh, but it's new and uh, it's added so people uh, will be uh, happy about this um, but as you may notice there are some caveats in there so first of all you see your company uh, location etc but what I miss is in my old context I want to see the status if they have Microsoft Teams so I want to see hey Paul is online because if I click on it I see he's online and I can start a jet but this, uh, this is already two clicks away so this is something I think should be different I think when uh, you scroll through your old contacts your favorite or your externals internals doesn't matter there should be a status if they have Microsoft Teams and I think this is a big miss or a bug I don't know uh, but I really would appreciate if they bring it back or create it um, so we'll see uh, maybe it's already there when you watch this video then we've got um, another one which a client reported and I think this is a bug so I hope it's fixed uh, at the time um, you watch this video when you see here the plus one uh, eight five eight in Holland we have plus uh, three one in Portugal plus three five one but if you try to dial out with a calling plan it will not work because the it doesn't take the plus sign into account so it would dial uh, three one and then six and then the phone number uh, mobile number in this case uh, so this is a bug um, I reported it so let's see if it's getting fixed for really soon um, but that's something else that uh, I think um, is really important to know further you see that there's no help uh, icon on the left side anymore because the help is under here and here you can get some video help etc 
Um, if you want to switch back you, to the classic themes, you can do this here directly and then it will switch back and you will have your classic themes back. So no harm done. And I think you should give it a go, but be careful if you are rolling it out in your organization. Um, some people may complain that some functionality is not there yet. But overall, it's a big win. So I would really encourage you to uh, try it out. Well, this was the video. I'm curious, are you on the new teams yet? And uh, if so, what are your uh, experiences? What are the failures? What are the things you think should be better? What is the thing you love about teams? Well, let me know it in the comments and uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video with other people if uh, you want to watch another movie this is my last movie or my previous one and here uh, on the other side there's the most uh, viewed one and in the middle is the subscribe button don't forget to push it all right thank you see you next time bye bye Thank you.